How you doing? You guys like rolling tool carts and Labradors, right? Yes. I just got a new rolling tool cart. I've been thinking that I could upgrade it to make it more than the good rolling tool cart it is, right? So today I've got, for you and me, three ways to upgrade our tool cart with a little help from my friends here. Ready? Ready. Let's go. Mate, six, pro, cook. Garden fork. All right, the first one, well, just, I mean, I don't like the wheels. I mean, tool carts are competing on price a lot of time and you, you know, you want one that's not too expensive, but then you buy it and, looks like a scene on a Batman. But um, the wheels, they get stuck on any little pebble you have in your garage. So I had a simple upgrade for that. Again, not a big fan, so let's take the wheels off. They come off pretty easily, at least on this rig it does. Oh, come on, come on. Um, I'll link to the tools I use below. A couple of them are really nice. So what's really cool about this one, there's a threaded plate in here already, so the nuts aren't falling into the um, bottom drawer. That's nice. Okay, next, take this to your local tool store. I went to, let's just call it the inexpensive tool store. You know which one it is probably. This, I wanted to match this same bolt pattern and I upgraded to these. These are a heavy duty rubber caster. These will roll better and has the same plate pattern, bolt pattern and the tool car comes with two swivel and two locked wheels. And I splurged and got four rolling wheels, which will make it much easier to push this thing around. That's my visual for pushing it around. Push this thing around your shop. Learn from me. Don't sock these in tight till you have all four screws in. Now you can tighten them up. A vast improvement. I mean, look at that. It's like... What do I do with these now? Let me know in the comments. Can we make something? Should we keep these? Do I give them away? Let me know. Comments below. Meanwhile, let's spin this some more. <laughs> So like you, I've got, actually I bought a new socket set because, um, well, I got a hole in the roof here and it rained right onto my socket set and it was bad. So now I have a, some spare sockets. But anyway, how, you know, you got this big case thing and you want to have your sockets in a drawer or something. I figured this out. So you can buy all sorts of socket organizers for your drawers, right? Here we go. I, that kind of occurred to me the other night and I thought, I mean, yeah, you could, you could tuck it in with some foam or something, but it's already organized and you just pulled the hinge off and now you're good to go. I thought, well, I was pretty happy with that. You let me know what you think. Who's that? Who's that? Ouch! <laughs> Hi, Charlie. <laughs> By the way, I said three tips. There's four. The bonus tip will be at the end of the video. So stick around. I think you'll like the bonus tip. You want to do some welding. I have some welding videos, by the way. Or you want to do maybe some cutting with this but you're rolling tool cart, and I use this as a work surface. There really isn't a way to, well you just, it's hard to hold stuff on top of your cart, and I, so 
Here we go. So my show is all about, hey, let's try this. Let's see what happens. So let's put this on. I mean, would it work? I don't know. Let's try. Mark the center of that hole. I'm gonna use a center punch so we can drill right where we want to. I really like these step drill bits. They're kind of fun. A little bigger. A friend of mine gave this to me probably five, six years ago. It's been sitting around in my shop and I was almost ready to like give it away. And then I was like, workbench. I mean, not workbench, what, rolling, rolling tool cart. I can say that word. So anyway, this right there. Oh, oops, let me move the tripod. Sorry. Lock washer, kind of an interesting bolt came with it. This is that part where you're you're kind of doing it upside down and backwards. So I didn't put this in the video, but maybe you're like me. I've made three trips to my basement workshop just to get the bolts and stuff to put this thing on here. And I'm like, oh, I forgot that thing. And I forgot some other stuff. So I'll be going back. But anyway, this on here. Nice. How cool is that? Oh, let me tighten it up over here. All right, nice. All right, question for you guys. How do I put these? Well, those are, those are sticky drawers. How does this sit in there? Let me know in the comments, because I learned from you, all right? Now, the bonus tip. So when you buy your rolling tool cart, it's always got these advertising stickers on it. And I could never figure out a great way to get them off. But wait, heat gun, careful when using this, but heat gun takes this off really nice. So why don't you and I spend some more time together? There should be a video floating over here, some more Eric DIY stuff. You and me, heat gun, welding, making cake, who knows? Right there, you and I, I'll see you in the next video.